So at this point, it looks like everything is essentially done. So now what I want to do is maybe print this. So how do we go about doing that? So if I got a file, print, you can see how it's set up. And, you know, you may say, okay, that's fine. But, you know, you may want to only include a certain area or have the chart separate, etc. So what I'm going to do is actually get out of this. I'm going to go to page layout. One thing I noticed is that the orientation was portrait instead of landscape. So I'm going to make that landscape. Let me move this formula just for sake down there. Um, one big thing that you want to do probably is set the print area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from cell A1 through uh, cell H11. And I'm going to uh, set this to be the print area. So now you can see that it actually went ahead also and changed it in the name area box. So now when I go back to file print, you can see that it's only going to be printing that particular area. Um, so you can scale it, you know, you can fit it on one page if you want, or go back and do no scaling. You can make all those uh, changes here. Um, another thing, if you added a title, uh, or if you want certain rows and columns, if this were going on multiple pages, you could check this and highlight the ones um, that the cells that actually represent titles. You can put that against the background um, where it talked about orientation, uh, margins. Um, so with grid lines, you can choose whether or not to print them or not. So earlier they were not. So if I do, let's say, for example, print. If you have headings, um, you could print those as well. In this case, I do not. So if I go back and look at the print preview, now you can see that the grid lines are added.